Hello there, it's Pete over at the Samplist, and today we are checking out the free update to the Benjamin Volfish strings from Orchestral Tools. Several months ago, Orchestral Tools released the Benjamin Volfish strings alongside the Orchestral Strings Effects Library, Stringscapes. Featuring both 2T and Divisi sections, Benjamin Volfish strings met with acclaim for their Tombra character plethora of mic positions and beautiful Divisi sections. However, the Divisi sections noticeably were missing the same short articulations as the 2T sections. Orchestral Tools have listened to the community and now provided us with a 300 gigabyte update aligning the Divisi articulations with that of the 2T sections. With now 10 articulations for every section and 18 mic signals, Orchestral Tools are showing us how they do a free update. The Benjamin Volfish strings download at 617 gigabytes sign arc compressed, but there is an option just to download the mic signals that you require. They've been recorded in 24-bit 48K resolution and they run in the free Orchestral Tools sign player. Currently, they are 25% off at €599 Euros plus VAT, and Stringscapes is reduced to €179 Euros plus VAT. You can buy them as a bundle for €699 Euros plus VAT. In this video, we are going to focus on the update sections of the Benjamin Volfish strings, and then, of course, I've thrown everything into a brand new composition. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Orchestral Tools for sending over, obviously, the original library several months ago, which we did make a video on back then. And then now, really, really huge thanks for creating this massive free update to an already incredible strings library. Well, of course, we do get the instruments for free. It doesn't cloud our thoughts, ideas, or judgments. And with this one, they've been out for quite a long time now. And I have to say, I've used this library over and over again in different productions, and I've just had an absolute whale of a time using it. So without further ado, we are going to jump into the new Benjamin Volfish Strings update. And here we have the free Orchestral Tools sign player with the Benjamin Volfish string sitting right next to Stringscapes. Now, here's the key thing. If I open up the violins, we have the 2T and we have the violins A7A and A7B. So these are our Divisi sections. Now, if I open the 2T section, we have all 10 articulations. And now, both of the Divisi sections share all of the same articulations. So, as a little reminder, I'm just going to play the downbow legato so we can remind ourselves how lovely these strings sound. absolutely stunning the character is incredible now of course the longs and the legato were all present but it's all down to these shorts so let's just go for um spiccato so this is the violin 2t spiccato So they're really bitey. Absolutely amazing. Now let's go to the Divisi spiccato. So this is the uh, A7A section. So you can hear the difference straight away. They sound incredible. And if we do the violins A7B. Excuse me at the end there, but you can get the idea. They sound absolutely gorgeous. So we have these large 2T sections and then 
we have the smaller section. So the pizzicato of the uh, violin A7A. Let's just change it so I'm not always playing in D minor. They sound gorgeous. It's very, very twee what I was playing there. But let's compare those to the pizzicato of the tutti. Absolutely gorgeous. So we can do these uh, comparisons all day long, but that's the violin ones. Uh, let's look at the violin twos, but we'll look at different articulations. So if I load up the trills, for example. So that's the tutti trills. I did accidentally uh, slip onto a wrong note there. But there we go. And let's just play exactly the same thing, but in uh, the violin A. It sounds very pronounced, which is excellent. And then let's do the same with the B. I will let it load, though. Absolutely lovely. Now, let's do the viola. And let's go staccato. Beautiful. So that's a 2T. And then we do the... Divisier. It's uh, just loading. Now that is interesting. You can see that every other patch loaded really quickly. That is the note that I played, so I thought it was already loaded. Um, I'm, I'm going to go for a computer issue there. <laughs> I mean, that's got, um, those kind of like s smaller string, uh, trailers you hear quite a lot. Yeah, sounds brilliant. Uh, let's go for the same one, but yeah, so it's loaded a lot quicker there. I, I reckon it's a computer glitch. Something going on. Beautiful. Lovely. Uh, let's close those up and let's go for the Celli um, Tremolo. Absolutely love Tremolo. Use it a lot in the composition. And of course, these are all recorded in situ, so you're going to hear that more on the right hand side. Lovely. Uh, let's just close that up. And let's just hear the Chelly A tremolo. So it's a very dense sound. I just noticed my CPU is spiking, so there's something going on. Hmm. And 
absolutely wonderful. If anyone's interested, I'm running a Ryzen 7, 7900X. Um, so never really had a, a CPU issue. When I was composing with uh, Benjamin Valfa Strings, there's absolutely no glitches, nothing. All very, very seamless. So I'm quite interested as to what's causing a CPU spike. Um, there we go. And let's just go to uh, the trills. Sorry, the tremolo of Chelly B. Absolutely superb. And then bases. So again, 2T. Uh, we've actually covered every articulation. I was going to play the legato up bow. So those dynamic layers are absolutely amazing. So let's just play that one. So that's the Divisi uh, A3A. Lovely. And I'm just going to show you some um, spiccato. I've just moved the octaves in the wrong way. That growl. Beautiful. And let's just show the uh, spiccato with the uh, A section. Okay. Absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, um, they sound incredible. And of course, we have all of uh, these extra articulations got lots more character, a lot more control over the sound. Absolutely wonderful. So the the Teldex sound is is absolutely amazing. And there we go. Now, of course, um, I've only downloaded not even all eighteen mic positions, but with a Chelly, uh, if I load up one of these, this is one of the Divisi ones. Okay, so we've got our legato. So I was a bit quick on the old mod wheel there. So of course we have the mixer and we have all of these different mics. So if we go straight for Outrigger, it's just going to load up. Let's add the wide mic to that as well. So of course we get all of these different mic options. You may have noticed a quick edit there. I decided I wasn't very happy showing this library with 100% CPU going on and these spikes. I knew it was a poorly computer, so I restarted 
uh, all my audio capture software and my drivers and my Apollo Twin. And now it's working as it always does. So I don't know what happened throughout that video, but poorly computer symptom, definitely. Now, the last thing I was going to show you was the performance tab because someone wrote a comment on the first video saying, what does the performance tab do? You missed it. And they admitted they frequently miss it themselves. So I'm just going to quickly show you. I've got to load up the Cello 2T. And that will load it very quickly now because everything's working beautifully. Lovely. And we have Legato. If I do about the mod wheel for a moment. just hear how responsive those strings are even though I'm not using the model. Anyway, so you'll notice we have these key switches down the bottom. So there's Mercato. Staccato. Beautiful. And you can just cycle through, so some trills. Tremolo. Pizzicato. Beautiful. So, Obviously, that's just key switching. If we click on the performance, all those articulations are here. Beautiful. So you can just key switch your way through them. Absolutely fine. And uh, we've got the poly. Uh, control here as well, which is got some cool stuff going on. Excuse me. Okay, so obviously it's doing a little bit of sort of loading between articulations there, but through the articula uh, the key switches. In mono mode, it's absolutely fine. So there we go. We have the performance uh, tab. Now, I've thrown it into a composition, and I do not normally give myself an hour, but I um, love uh, sort of composing this kind of like sci-fi, almost horror-type orchestral music. And I gave myself three hours. So it's an evening's worth of composing to work with it. Everything you hear is orchestral tools. And of course, all of the strings and the string effects are from Bundrin Volfish strings, or they're from Stringscapes as well. So without further ado, let's listen to the composition. I'm going to give my closing thoughts.
And here we are once again. It is closing thoughts time, and we are talking about the free update to the Benjamin Volfish strings from Orchestral Tools. Before I talk about what I think about the library in terms of sound and character and playability and usability and all those lovely things, let's just take a step back. So when the library was originally released, we had these gorgeous string sections and the 2T sections had 10 articulations. Obviously everything had the 18 mic signals and the Divisi section sounded incredible, but they didn't have the same short articulations as the 2T sections. So orchestral tools have listened to the community, gone off, made 300 gigabytes worth of recordings and given us this wonderful free update. So now everything is just seamless. We can go from 2T to Divisi, we've got this section A, section B, and we have just this wonderful palette of strings. And they sound absolutely wonderful. Now. I have read some of the comments because this came out four days ago and now I'm making the video. And some people have said, well, it'd be lovely to have flautando or colegno or harmonics. And yeah, I agree. But the way I say it, these 10 articulations are your bread and butter. And I've used these strings on a lot of different productions since. I've never thought, oh, I, I'm missing something. I want to have that. It just sounds wonderful. And I'm really happy with the articulations I'm working with. However, Orchestral Tools have demonstrated one thing that's absolutely brilliant. This is how you do an update. So there's nothing to suggest that they're not going to update these strings again. They might do, they might add some more articulations, who knows. However, it is one of my all-time favorite string libraries and the starting point was incredible and Orchestral Tools have just made it even better. So we can't argue with that and in fact, we should really, really be thankful for uh, Orchestral Tools for creating this update off their own backs because they listen to the community and that's the, you know, the, the best thing that can happen really. So yeah, they sound amazing and I did make a video on these before. My feelings haven't changed and the more I've used them, the, the happier I've been. I just think they are wonderful strings. So the composition. Now the composition is interesting because I wanted to write this kind of like horror sci-fi kind of music and it's all orchestral tools. Everything you hear is from orchestral tools in this library. Sorry, composition. It's been a long day. Um, so I've used a combination of things. I did use stringscapes because I love the sound. It's one of my favorite orchestral, sorry, string effects based libraries. It is brilliant. It's instant movie score, but I used it towards the end and maybe a couple of risers. I wanted the strings really to shine, but everything else, like I say, we've got some Metropolis arc in there. We've got the Berlin Inspired Percussion. All just sounds wonderful and gels together. So yeah, in combination with other libraries, it sounds absolutely brilliant. And of course, when I was sketching this composition out and playing around with it, it just sort of came together really really well and normally I give myself an hour but for this one I spent the whole evening composing and yeah there's a few things I might tweak but I'm really really pleased for say three hours work um, of this sort of piece of music so do I recommend them if you don't own them already I really do they're 25% off you know you can get them as part of the bundle as well because I, I love the stringscapes uh, they just sound amazing so yeah it is a huge recommendation and if you already own them, just get downloading. Just really, really enjoy yourself and download everything you can, every mic signal if you really, really want to, and just have a really good time working these strings. But for me, I've used them lots and lots and lots in the past few months. I'm going to continue to use them for the rest of my composing career. There we go. Anyway, all that leaves me to say is thank you so much to Orchestral Tools for sending over the original Benjamin Volfer strings several months ago, and then creating this wonderful update. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a like on the video and of course drop us a comment. What do you think about these strings? Have you picked them up? Have you used them for months and months like I have? And then you got this pleasant surprise getting this update. And are you considering buying them? Who knows, maybe you haven't picked them up. Hopefully this video will help 
you decide whether you want to pick them up or not. If you've not done so already, please check out our other videos on YouTube. We have uh, well over 300 now. Uh, something for everyone. Some really, really cool stuff out there. Lots of compositions, uh, some walkthroughs, some comp composition breakdowns. Lots of things going on on the channel. And, of course, if you've not done so, please hit that subscribe button. The uh, subscriber count keeps going up. It's absolutely fantastic, but it's slow and steady. So if you're not a subscriber, please, please hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to link at the very end of the video the original Benjamin Volfish Strings video that uh, the samplist did. And it goes without saying, just keep making that beautiful music. Until next time, take care, and I'm sure we'll speak again soon.